spot removal tool. Perfect. So spot removal tool is it's not as sophisticated as what you can do in Photoshop, but in a lot of instances it will do a decent job. And this is something that will take a bit of practice for you. Um, but if you click on this, then you have some controls up here at the top. Um, the first thing is, do you want it to be a clone or a heal tool? A clone tool is really trying to just copy from a source area and like copy it. Um, a heal tool is smarter than that. It has a source area that you're copying content from, but it also tries to blend that content in with the immediate surroundings. So it's supposed to be more sophisticated than a clone. Um, so we're going to start with heal because it normally works better. Then you have a size control, and that's going to control the size of the circle that you see me mousing around. Um, then you've got, so if I come over here, let me get this up here. If I come over here, um, I can increase the size. You can see it's getting bigger or decrease the size. Um, the feather tool, there's two circles that are on my mouse. Um, there's an outer and an inner. The outer one is like a feather range or a gradient from like when the cloning turns on to when it turns off. So it's more simple to illustrate this by. So let's let's decide that for some reason I do not want this bird here. So I can click on the bird and then as soon as I click on the bird it creates two circles. The red circle is what is being cloned out or changed. The green circle is the source area from which it's um, pulling information. So you can see if you look here that all of a sudden this looks quite similar like this little tuft of grass and that little tuft of grass is the same. Um, so sometimes this takes some fine tuning. One thing you can do, you come to the end of the circle, you can change the size. So maybe I decide that I don't actually need such a big circle. Um, I can move the circles around. Now remember I'm just trying to get rid of this bird so you know maybe before my size was too big I can come here and I can just adjust this as need be very in a live fashion and then I can move this tool around or this source area around until it I feel like it's it's looking pretty good or it's believable um, now feather what does the feather tool do in this instance the feather tool is going to change how much of the outside area and the inside area changes. I not so you can see as I change this, can you see how this area is changing in size? Sorry, the, the, the perception of what it looks like inside is changing. So when it's more feathered, the edges blend better. And it's a gradient. So imagine like a gradient of it going from being on to not being on or being fully off. And it's like how much the area is feathered determines how wide that gradient is. So no feathering is hardly ever good because it just means like when you move in here and you look at this, it's really clear what's on and what's off. Like you can see like this is clearly pulled from a different area here and it's really obvious. Actually that's not so bad, but I think that's probably a good area so if I feathered that a little bit it really wouldn't it would really look quite good. So if I increase this a bit, maybe to 50%, then we might find ourselves in a good scenario. So this is something, anyway, you, you're gonna, you have to play with. Opacity is what you think. When opacity is at 100%, it's fully going to take the source area and replace it with the area that you want cloned or healed. If you put it down to zero, then you're going to be able to see what was there and there's no actually nothing happening. So you can see as I pull it down to zero that the bird reappears. Um, and then as I go up to 100%, the bird disappears. So Why would you want that? If you want to get rid of something, why would you want it to be able to okay? Well, it's not so much opaque, it's that it's basically a, the power setting of how how visible is this source area in this here where you're transferring it to. 
If it's at zero, basically, this is just not doing anything to this. If it's at 100%, it's at full power or full effect. So they call it opacity, but you could also think of it as um, the percent at which um, the healing is happening from the source area to the target area. Um, and the other thing that you can do, I'm going to come all the way out here, is it says show overlay at the bottom. So you can turn that off, which is helpful, because then you can actually look and say, do I really notice that that's been cloned in that spot? You can also clone on top of another clone. Well, can you do that? Let's see. I think you can clone on top of another clone. So you could take, well, that's a little bit big. Command undo, command Z to, sorry, command Z works as undo command, by the way. I can't quite overlap on top of this. But you can do a bit, so you can kind of have double opacity. So some of this stuff. I find this not nearly not nearly as controllable as Photoshop, and we'll we'll talk about cloning in Photoshop eventually. But this is a tool that, at least in Adobe Camera Raw, it's here. It's pretty easy to use. For certain things, it works really well. For certain things, it's not quite as advanced. So there's a lot of detail on the grass here, so it can be a little bit more complicated than say, I just want to clone. I just want to like heal a little like blemish off someone's face, um, or remove something in a very consistent field of like one texture or one tonality. So 